So when we discuss issues involving economic racism, we kind of have to look at the different issues that we see in today's society as far as how people are targeted, what opportunities are given to people from different minority groups. If we are going to develop a society which is going to include and become more inclusive, we need to create much more diversity in the way that our economic policies exist. People that are Caucasian are given better options, better opportunities, or live in areas where the taxes are higher, they pay more taxes, they have better security because their police is a better trained and equipped police. The way that we have to change this is that we need to start to somewhat diversify how our taxes are being utilized. We cannot simply give more to places that have more. We have to give more to places that don't have more. That is the way that we have to move forward. And I think that that is going to be something that we need to discuss within politics overall, in terms of with our leaders, our congressmen, our senators, that they need to create to relish legislation that is going to encourage individuals to pay more in places where they're needed the most. So leaders have to actually make this jump. And without doing that, we are just going to continuously allow this systemic issue to reoccur, not only within the workplace, but throughout society as a whole. So these are things that we need to address.